So if you have a WordPress site, what are some of the ways that you might discover that your site has been compromised? Well, one of them is if your IP address has been blacklisted. That could indicate that your site's been compromised and an attacker is using it as a platform to launch attacks, to spam, and do other nefarious things with your site. So definitely pay attention if your, if your IP has suddenly been blacklisted. Another thing that we see is unfamiliar accounts showing up in a site or unfamiliar plugins being installed. That can be an early indicator of compromise. Redirects on your site, if you're being redirected when you go to your site or your customers are saying, hey, I got redirected to this really weird site. Definitely take that seriously. That's a pattern that we see. Weird results in the search engine results pages could indicate that your site's been compromised and that an attacker is using your site to host content of their own. Alerts from your site. If you have security software like WordFence installed and you're getting alerts saying that something weird's going on, the alert volume has increased, that could also indicate that you've got a, a problem on your site or that it's been compromised. Your username or password not working when you log into the site or when you try to log into the site and the forgot password functionality not working, that could also be an indicator. Your site slowing down is another one that we've seen because the computational resources are being used by something else on your site or your network bandwidth usage uh, going through the roof all of a sudden or increasing without any explanation is something you should investigate. User reports, if your users are saying, hey, I, I saw something weird or something weird's going on with your site, take that seriously and, and investigate immediately. And then there might be nothing, which is why you need good monitoring on your site. You need a malware scanner um, and you need a security product like WordFence that is monitoring for weird behaviors. And then finally, if there's a drop in revenue from your earnings, they may have been redirected to a different PayPal account. So pay attention to that.